when you want to know the number of bricks you are supposed to have when building your house first of all you have to know the dimensions for your walls for example if we are considering a wall of 10 meters length by 3 meters high that will give us 30 meters squared and in our minds now we know that we need bricks that can fit in a 30 meters squared wall second step is to find out the actual size of the bricks that we are going to use for example if we are using bricks of actual size 230 millimeters along the length 160 millimeters along the width and 70 millimeters along the height we will then have to add on space for the motor joint usually the motor joint recommended should be 10 millimeters but sometimes it goes up to 15 millimeters so for this case we are considering a 15 millimeters motor joint along the length and 15 millimeter joint along the height there are four what we consider as a brick in a finished wall will be 230 millimeters plus 15 making it 245 millimeters along the length and 70 plus 15 making it 85 along the height the third step is converting all units into meters making therefore the total area for our brick will be 0 0.245 meters by 0 0.085 85 meters making it 0 0.020825 meters squared therefore if we get 1 meter squared divided by 0 0.020825 meters squared we shall come up with 48 bricks in a stretcher bond wall Considering a header bond, it will be 160 millimeters along the length and 70 millimeters along the height. So if we add 15 millimeters for both the bed joint and the vertical joint along the length, it will come to 175 millimeters length and 85 millimeters height. Therefore, if we calculate the total area for a single brick in a header bond we will get 0 0.175 multiplied by 0 0.085 which will give us an answer of 0 0.014875 meters squared therefore when we get one meters squared divided by 0 0.014875 meters squared we get 67 bricks we conclude that we need 48 bricks for a stretcher bond and we need 67 bricks for a header bond you can also consider adding two extra bricks for every square meter for breakages and damages lastly for a stretcher bond we will get 48 bricks multiplied by 30 meters squared which will give us 1440 bricks and for a header bond we will get 67 bricks multiplied by 30 which will give us 2010 bricks we have been using this method for so long and have practiced it on very many sites and it has actually been worked out we counted these bricks physically and they were 48 for the stretcher bond and 67 for the header bond respectively in our next video we will talk about the amount of sand or mortar we need for brickwork so please don't miss out on that video we'll also talk about the amount of cement or the number of bags of cement we need for brickwork kindly hit that subscribe button and not to miss out on these hot videos Thank you so much for watching.